Welcome viewers. In this video, we will learn how to create high quality courses using the Junior IT Course Builder powered by AI. You can access the Junior IT Course Builder using our ByteMate AI bot. To get started, join the Junior IT Discord server or just add ByteMate bot to your own server. A detailed video on how to do this is linked in the description. So once you are in the server, Simply go to any channel of your choice and use the slash discord commands. So I'm going to use a forward slash and here you can see one icon and the icon is because of the bitemat AI board that you have installed in your or added into your server. Now just use slash command and then write mentor m-e-n-t-o-r and create. And here, if you just write mentor, you will find some recommendations. And these are the two commands that you need to use. But to create the course, we are going to use mentor create command. Just click on the command and hit enter. Or you can just manually type mentor create. ByteMate will generate a link for you. You just need to click on the link. And you will be directed to the junior IT course builder. Our junior IT course builder, also known as the AI powered private mentor tool, makes it easy to create and distribute engaging online content for courses using AI. So let's go through the steps to create a course. Step one, predefined course style. In the predefined course style section, you can choose from a variety of course styles. The general tutorial, ideal for creating tutorials on topics like thinking skills, history or science. Language learning, create content to teach any language. Learn maths by coding. Learn the concepts of maths by combining math and coding to teach and learn both simultaneously. General multiple choice test, perfect for creating MCQ based test. Coding tutorial. In coding tutorial, you have two options. Either create a coding tutorial without a development container like this one or with a development container for a more practical learning experience. And then you have the option to choose manual draft. It offers flexibility to design courses according to your own specific needs. For this video, we will create a coding tutorial using a development container. After selecting the development container, you will notice the input box here uses a syntax similar to Markdown, which we call Junior IT Style Markdown. Again, if you want to learn more about Junior IT Style Markdown, video is in the description. Let's create a basic course on JavaScript using title First Steps in JavaScript. So let's write the title. Let's edit this input. And here I am just going to write first steps in JavaScript. Now for the target audience, I wipe my course for high school students. Your needs could be different. You can write your own needs. But for me, I just want a course for high school student. Let me just edit this. For the grade year, I want this course for year 10 students. Let me just specify it. The course subject that I want to create the course for is going to be coding because I am creating a course for JavaScript language. Now for the level, I want this course for a beginner level. So here I, I will just add it beginner here. So for technology integration for course delivery, yes, this course is going to be online and web interactive tutorial. And we are going to use a development container. That's why the option is by default yes for coding tutorial with development container. For some courses, you want your audience to have some pre-knowledge required. But I am just creating a basic course. We do not need to specify our pre-existing knowledge. However, we will exclude some topics. So if you want to exclude some topics from your course, you just write it down here in this section. So I am just creating a simple course for JavaScript variables and data types. So I don't want the course to include functions and control structure. So here I will just write functions and control structure because this is the knowledge points that I just want to exclude from this course. 
Now, finally, under main knowledge points and specific aspects to be covered, we will just include our knowledge point and sub points that I want to deliver in my course. So here, I will just edit it. And my knowledge points are variable and data types. Let me just adjust it. And then operators. And these are the sub points like variable let and const. And in the operator section, I want the knowledge to be of arithmetic operators and comparison operators. Click on the button create prompt and our course builder will generate the course for you. Here there is one reset button. If you just want to reset this and again just write everything from scratch, you can click on this. And then we also have this button to add extra information. Using this option, you can submit additional documentation sample code that can help AI in completing your task more effectively. So I just don't want to do that. I will just click on create prompt and our course builder will generate the prompts for you. And here you can see in the dynamic fashion, our course builder has started generating prompts for you. Now step number two is refine the prompt. In this step, you can refine the prompts. All input fields here are editable. Again, just like first step, you can edit the input fields. The input field contains the overall structure of the course. Just like the overview, the listed objective, the most commonly used keywords related to the knowledge points, the AI prompt list, AI prop code prompts, demonstrations, executable codes, code of textbooks, executable files, then MCQ type questions for select code by statement and select statement by code. Again, to multiple choice questions for students, then summary, FAQ, test, and even a project. So once you are satisfied, just click on create draft. And it will start creating a draft course for you. In step number three, you can polish the AI generated content. So this is the draft course. Now let me just edit the draft course here. I, I do not want a quiz in this section, so I will just remove it. You can also add or remove the content as you wish. You can also upload videos to make your content more engaging. Just drop files here or click to browse. So I have just added one video and I will click on the upload button. So I have seen the success message. Just click on the video icon and it will copy the URL for the video for you. Just save this URL once because I will just edit this URL in the final draft course. So now I will just click on the next button for the step number four. Now to finalize your mentoring material creation and review, you just need to click on the create material button. And it would take approximately three to four minutes for you to create your content. Now in the step five, you have your mentoring material and using step five, you can distribute your mentoring material. But first, it will also give you a personal review link. You can just click on the link And you can just try out your course or just review your course just like a student. And as I said, our course is interactive. So it has interactive elements like the continue button and so many other elements that we will show you in the next video. The link is again in the description. And the video will teach you how you can start doing our junior IT course. So apart from the junior IT course builder, in your Discord account too, you will get one message from ByteMate. Just click on the message. And this message also contains your mentoring material for review. You can again click on the link and just review your mentoring material. Now let's just edit manually our course. If you want, just click on edit manually. 
and here you will see the junior IT style markdown. So I just want to add one video which I have uploaded here and I have copied the link. So for this, I just need to write the junior IT style markdown. So in junior IT style markdown, every element is a block. So I have just added the block for the type media for the video. Here I have just not written the title, but you can write the title of a video. And for the URL, again, you just need to copy this. So if you have already copied, just paste it here. Then if you click on edit course code, it will edit the course for you and include this media type file. Again, you can see your personal link has changed and you can again click on it to review it. And you also get one new message with a different token for your new mentoring material because you have made some changes. So it will consider as a new mentoring material. Now, once you're happy with your course, you can just assign the course to students using either their email ID followed by a comma and you can write other email IDs also. Or if you do not want the email ID, you can also just distribute your course using the Discord user ID. Just click on the any student that you want to deliver your course to. Just right click on the profile and click on copy user ID. And here after the comma, you can write the Discord user ID. Just click on submit and your mentoring material delivered successfully. Now all your old mentoring materials that you have created, you can access in the mentoring material management section. You can click on it, add it or assign the course. And if you do not want to use this interface to deliver your course, you can also use discord command guided by ByteMate chatbot. Again, come to any one channel of your choice. Then instead of mentor create, we will use the command mentor assign. And here you just need to give the course token. So either you can just go to bite mate DM and just after the T and equal sign, this is the course token. Just copy it. and paste it here and for the mention that you want to assign the course for and just hit enter and your mentoring material delivered successfully if you are not happy with your changes you can click on the restore button to restore it to its original content you can read it read more about it here so thank you for watching this video and if you want to learn more about how to add the Discord ByteMate AI chatbot or how to just write this junior IT style markdown, just watch all the videos in the description below.